Hi there, welcome back to Bobby on the Air. Today, I'm beginning a new series called Dear Lucid. Dear Lucid is a series of videos where I'm sending a little letter to Lucid, a little video letter saying, hey, here's a software improvement that I think is a good idea. A lot of these ideas came from the forum, lucidowners.com, where I'm a moderator. We recently put together a poll of over 40 different software improvements, and we figured out which ones were the most wanted, the most popular. Today we'll talk about one of them, Homelink. So Homelink is a functionality found in most cars these days. Usually there's some buttons on the mirror or up on the ceiling of the car to control garage doors or gates. They're of course programmable, although programming them isn't always the easiest thing. I actually really appreciate what Lucid did with their programming steps to make it easy to do by having instructions right on the screen. A person would enter the Homelink settings menu enter a name for that particular home link, and then the instructions will lead you right through the programming steps. Love it, fantastic job, thank you, Lucid. But, we also have a problem. You see, home link drops a menu down. It's geofenced. That means when we get near where we need to be, a menu will pop down right in the upper right screen, identifying the home link options. But, when we're in reverse, that entire screen is covered by the reversing camera, as you see here. And no matter what, there's no spot for the home link menu, and the button for it, which would normally be in the title bar at the top, is gone. The only way is to X out of that backup camera, hit the button, close the garage, and now I'd like to back up more. I'm still in reverse, but no camera. I do have the lower camera, but I want to back up a reversing camera. The only way to facilitate that is to stop, put the car into park, and put the car back into reverse to get the camera to pop back on. This doesn't make sense. Several button presses, several gear shifts while I'm reversing, which is when we have a little bit of danger going on behind us. Here's a solution I think might work. If only we could move the home link controls over to the left hand screen the cockpit display on the left-hand side of the driver. Right now we have about five different Viper controls, four different light controls, some other controls for defrost or defogger, and all these are very important. But for the few seconds when I'm using Homelink, when I'm backing out or pulling in, I can sacrifice these controls to let a menu pop up right over the top of them and control my Homelink options. I could clear that menu if I wanted to if I must use one of these things. And if I must use Homelink and it doesn't automatically pop up, there's room on there to add another button for Homelink. Perhaps we can consolidate the wiper buttons. And that's today's installment of Dear Lucid. Please comment below if you have any Dear Lucid videos you'd like to see. Meanwhile, I'll be covering some of the most popular ones from lucidowners.com. I encourage you to visit the site and become a member if you are a Lucid owner or enthusiast. If you like this type of automotive content, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.